This video will show you how to build and adjust your brand new Polygon Premiere kids bike. When you open your new bike box, you'll see a small box on top. This contains everything you'll need to build your new bike. Opening the box, you'll see a manual, 15mm wrench, bell, reflector, pedals, as well as a 4 and 5mm hex key. Make sure you keep all these parts and tools as you'll need them for the assembly of the bike and in the future. Next, carefully lift the bike out of the box and place it on the floor. Then remove all the packaging and place it to one side. Ensure you keep all the packaging just in case you ever need to transport the bike or return it. Next, you will need to attach the handlebars to your bike. Start by rotating the stem so both the stem and the V-brakes are facing forward. Then remove the faceplate of the stem using the provided 4mm hex key. Ensuring the cables aren't twisted and run freely, place the center of the handlebar on the stem. For reference, the shifter should be on the rider's right hand side. Reattach the faceplate and tighten the bolts to 5 Newton meters using an alternating diagonal pattern to ensure even tension is applied to the bolts. You can check this by looking at the gap between the stem and the faceplate from above and below the stem. The gap between these should be even top and bottom. Firstly, you will need to release the V-brakes by squeezing the arms together and removing the brake noodle from the housing. Now lift the front end of the bike and insert the wheel into the dropouts, noting that the washer and nut are on the outside of the dropout. Ensuring that the bike is now on the ground so the wheel sits evenly in the dropout, you can now hand tighten the nuts. Then using the provided 15mm wrench, Tighten the bolts on each side firmly. Lastly, reattach the V-brakes by squeezing the arms together and installing the brake noodle back into the housing. Then test to ensure the brakes are working properly and not rubbing. Next you need to install the pedals. The pedals are labelled left or right, either with a sticker or pressed onto the inside of the axle. It is important you install the correct pedal onto the correct side as the threads on each pedal are different. Install the right pedal first by hand, screwing it in clockwise, then use the provided 15mm wrench to tighten it firmly. Then install the left hand pedal again by hand first, screwing it anti-clockwise, then use the 15mm wrench to tighten it firmly as well. At this point in time, you can now make adjustments to the bike to make it fit your child. The first point is rotating the bars, which can make the bike feel a little bit smaller or bigger, and can also make the brakes a little bit flatter to make them easier to reach for your child. Start by loosening the stem bolts evenly and then rotate the bars. Once you have found the correct position, re-tighten the bolts evenly as shown previously. The next is the saddle height. Simply undo the quick release lever and adjust the height of the saddle. Depending on your child's confidence level, this will either be with their feet flat on the floor, especially when they're starting off, or at the optimal height with their tippy toes just barely touching the floor. Once you have found the correct height, then close the quick release clamp, ensuring it is pointing forward. It is also best practice to lube the chain every few weeks and get the bike service after three months of use. Congratulations, your bike is now built. If you have any questions, please reach out to us using the contact form on our help center.